look at an insect, you might be grossed out, but there are many reasons to like them. We are going to tell you why they are some of the most important species on Earth. We'll also tell you how helping them can create a healthier ecosystem. One of the biggest reasons to support insects is pollination. This flower is shaped like a landing pad. The insect has to land on top of the flower and walk on it to get the nectar. This means the pollen will get caught on the insect's legs. We need to help insects. Insects help flowering plants reproduce. This gives us food to eat. These insects benefit us by helping us produce food that we need. Insects have some unique features that make them truly special and help them survive. Let's take a look. Every insect has its own life cycle. There are two major types of life cycles, incomplete and complete. Let's compare them. The simple or incomplete life cycle of the buffalo tree hopper includes three stages, egg, nymph, and adult. The nymph looks like an adult, however is much smaller and still developing. The life cycle of the hermit beetle is different from the buffalo tree hopper. The hermit beetle has four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. This means the insect goes through a complete metamorphosis. The larval stage lasts three to four years, in which it eats rotten wood from trees. Next, let's look at physical traits all insects have in common. All insects have a head, abdomen, thorax, and six jointed legs. Many insects can share the same habitat. This is because each kind of insect has different adaptations that help them survive around each other. Let's look at legs for an example. All insects have a femur, tibia, and tarsals. However, they are different for each insect. The tarsals of a bumblebee have stiff hairs used like a comb to clean the body. The hermit beetle uses spurs on its tarsals to climb onto bark. It uses its legs to climb on trees. Insect adaptations developed over time. Different generations adapt to different weather patterns and habitats. Insects also adapt to the plants in their habitats. Insects use specific plants for food and shelter. These plants are called native plants and are needed for survival. All animals get their energy from plants, directly or indirectly. Insects have plasma energy from plants to animals. Animals that don't eat plants get energy from other sources. This is why insects are important to healthy ecosystems. Insects need native plants rather than invasive plants because they have adapted to native plants to provide food and shelter, and invasive species provide much less health to insects. For example, bees get better nutrition from nectar of native goldenrod than from the nectar of non-native plants. Mosquitoes use plants like saltmarsh hay for breeding grass, whereas the field cricket uses native plants like chicory for food and shelter. Another challenge insects face is climate change. Climate change affects all things big and small. This can be a change in global or regional climate patterns. Insects can be strongly affected by such changes that are caused by CO2 levels increasing in the atmosphere. Bumblebees are affected by climate change when the temperature unexpectedly goes down in cooler climates. Adapting to cooler climates takes time in many generations. The hermit beetle may experience a population increase if the climate warms and becomes more humid because that will increase their source of shelter, which is rotting trees. One thing we can do to slow global warming is use bikes instead of cars. You can help slow climate change by reducing our carbon footprint. Insects are extremely important to us. We need them for food, pollinating, and decomposing waste materials. As you saw in this video, every insect is different, and each one of them helps us in different ways. Extinction doesn't usually happen overnight, so we can still save insects like these. A couple of ways you can help insects are, don't rake the leaves. Insects can use them during the winter for shelter. And don't use chemical pesticides. They kill beneficial insects.